Hey everybody, welcome to Meatless Monday, only it's a day late. So yesterday I made this recipe, but I failed because um, when I cooked my lentils and drained them, they went down the drain. So we're going to try it again today. So sorry this is a day late, but that's the way it is. So what you're going to need for this recipe is, you're going to need about a cup of um, lentils. I'm using the red lentils. Um, I guess there's other kinds. There's green and brown. I've only ever used red and they work for me so I like those. You're going to need a cup of um, rice uncooked and when you cook it it's going to make two cups. So you need about two cups of rice and I'm using about a third cup of quick cooking oats and about a fourth of a cup of ketchup and I have more to squirt on the top. And did I mention this is called lentil loaf? So it's like a meat loaf, but it's made with lentils and rice and other spices. And so for the spices, then you're going to need, I used about a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a whole bunch of black pepper, and about a half a teaspoon of this Montreal chicken seasoning which has salt and pepper and other spices so I'm not going to add any salt since this already has salt in it. And then also I'm going to use about a half of a white onion chopped. This is about six baby carrots finely chopped. I have a few strips of green pepper finely chopped and about three or four small stalks of celery finely chopped. So I'm going to saute this in olive oil and I'm going to cook my lentils and cook my brown rice and then I'll put it all together and I'll come back and show you that. Okay so what you're going to do is you're going to cook your lentils and um, I put a cup of lentils and I put about four or five cups of water. I don't know. You just cook them for about 30 minutes until they're soft they don't take long and this recipe really does not take long to come together. I'm heating up my water for my rice. I'm using minute rice, brown rice. You can use any kind of rice. I just really like this rice so that's what I'm using. So we're getting the water boiling for that and I'm going to saute my onions, celery, carrots, and green peppers in the olive oil and I'll show you all that when I put it all together. Okay, so I got the vegetables sautéing. What I ended up doing was I found some mushrooms, <laughs> and I do this a lot, I find stuff. I found some mushrooms that were on their last leg. So I just decided to chop them up. Sorry about that, I'm trying to hold this and do this. Um, so I just chopped up those. There was four mushrooms, and I cut those up and I put these in this pan to sauté with the onions, carrots, celery, and green peppers. So you just wanna sauté this for about 10 or 15 minutes until the vegetables cook down nicely. See, I'm going to try to hold this and do this at the same time, so, yeah. Oh no, oh no, I didn't mean to do that. See what happens when you don't know what you're doing? Okay, so, so you're just going to saute this up 10, 15 minutes, something like that, until they're nice and soft. The lentils are cooking, the brown rice is cooking, and the lentils take about 30 minutes to cook. So I'll show you that when we come back. All right, I finished cooking the lentils and I drained them. Now you want to drain them really, really well. See, and they're already like squished up. So I'm going to add the brown rice. the brown rice. I'm going to add the sautéed mushrooms, onions, carrots, and celery and green bell peppers. I will scrape that out later. Okay, so I'm going to add all this together. I'm going to put the spices in, the cooked oats, because that just helps it bind together, and ketchup to give it a little meaty color. I'll probably add more. I'll probably be squirting more ketchup and I'm going to squirt more on top. So I'm going to mix this all up and then I'm going to put it in the loaf pan and I'm going to bake it. Okay, I mixed it all together and put more ketchup in it and it does, it is very much like the texture of meat. 
and meatloaf and almost like the color. And now I'm going to put it in the loaf pan. All right, it's in the loaf pan. I'm going to bake it now at 375 for about 45 minutes and we will have it for dinner tonight. And I will show you when it comes out of the oven. Okay, it's out of the oven. It smells good. It looks good. It has a very meaty look and texture to it. It's delicious. And we had some last night for dinner. You'll see that in my dinner videos. Not this one, but I ended up making one last night. And we had it with mashed potatoes and peas. It's yummy. So I hope you enjoy this uh, video for veggie, I'm going to call this veggie lentil loaf. Now I got the idea for this recipe from another YouTuber and their names are Gazelle Intense. And they had done a video on lentil loaf but I added a few things of my own like the, all the veggies because we like a lot of veggies and I think that it makes, it adds a lot to the texture. So yeah, so there's Veggie Lentil Loaf. I hope you enjoyed this Meatless Monday video, and we will see you next Monday for Meatless Monday. So have a great week, everybody. Bye.